Why, hello, MTV. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> I waited 25 and a half years to say this. Come on. <laughs> Everybody, today is the day. Empty house tour. Very empty house tour. We have to explain just a little excerpt pre 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 uh, pre clip here is that around the house nothing is done, nothing is finished. Furnishing, decoration, stuff I, like I that. I think that's what the empty part of the empty house tour. I mean, I could be wrong. Mm. I could be wrong. Where shall we begin? I think you should lead us off. I think okay. we should start with upstairs. Should we start with entryway? And then upstairs. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Have at her. Let's go. Did you want the feet in there? Everyone wants the feet. Nobody. Not for free though. <laughs> Here we are at the beautiful front door. We are in love with this door, and it's got the smart, cool, funky lock because the tech is. Is here. I want you to have your wine off of our beautifully freshly painted IKEA drawers, which hold the key to our shoes. <laughs> Beautiful. We repainted this. We repainted this wall just a couple days ago as well. Yep, my mom helped with that. She did. Shout out Linda. We got garage here. We'll take mm -hmm. you out back later. And then there's a little living closet, which we'll also take you to later. But yeah. Why don't we just show the little entranceway here too? When you come on in, you go to the basement and you come to upstairs. We love this glass because. Why do we it's love it, Paige? Climb on up, yeah. don't mind the track, and uh, we'll meet you up there. I made it. Oh my god, do you need a glass of water? <laughs> Let me set this down here. Beautiful colorful. <laughs> here we are, my favorite spot in the house, which is the main living area, thank yes. god. That would have been weird if it was a weird basement. <laughs> but what's gonna be here is our TV, which we're eventually getting. Yep. A uh, nice couch here for a nice living space. Mm -hmm. And we do that. <laughs> we can control it from our phone. We can in over 60 million different colors. <laughs> in addition to the family area, we have our dining space. No, 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 this table is not here to stay. We have the table here, it's just in the garage, and we haven't put it together yet. We didn't want to do a half furnished tour, so we thought let's do that empty house tour and then do the furnished one for more content so that oh. you know we get more views. So, we yeah. had to move the table here because the light is just such a hazard. Put your face near there. I have knocked my egg again several times. Pretend like you're thinking really hard. Oh my god, idea. Ideas. So many. <laughs> These are new. They said counter height on the website, but they do be tall. Try and eat. You look like Igor. They're way too tall, so I think we're gonna have to take them back. You're thinking yeah. about maybe cutting the steel bases and yeah. remelding the feet. Yeah, any welders in the area uh, wanna help us out and tell us if this is possible because we love these chairs and I'm very upset that we may have to take these back. Let me show you the kitchen. Okay, yes. This space is just so nice. I love it. I just love how bright it is. We've got two windows as well. Mm -hmm. um, look at our cute combos bin we just got. We just got that. This is the life of a homeowner, I tell you. Is that a watermelon? Yeah, it is. Uh, that's decor, Paige. Ah, yes, we're going for that. Yeah, this is our watermelon. We bought it three weeks ago and haven't looked at it since. Here's our skinny fridge. It looks great because it blends in with the cabinets. Yeah. Not great for Paige and I's eating habits. And you might say, what do you mean skinny fridge? It's wide. It sure is, but when you open this door, this fridge. Sorry, this is a crucial part of MTV Cribs. Okay, I haven't, I'm gonna be totally honest and tell you, I've never actually seen MTV Cribs. You said you waited 25 years to have your Cribs moment. I did. You never watch Cribs. No, I've just seen other YouTubers do it, swear on my life. Okay, so MTV Cribs, most people are like, I don't know why you guys wanna look at my fridge, but like, here you go. And it's full of like expensive champagne and shit. Oh my God, do it. But we need to see the full scene, ready? Do it. I don't know why you guys wanna see my fridge, but like, okay. It's not like I organized it before, spent any kind of money stopping it. <laughs> no! <laughs> get out of there! Get out of there! Just show this. <laughs> Why would you put that in there? Great. So yeah, so skinny but nice. Um, skinny on the inside is what we mean. It doesn't go back far. Everybody's skinny on the inside. <laughs> Talk oh, about. Speaking of skinny, here's our pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Great segue, Holly. Yeah, look. Is that a soft close? 
Oh my god. But we're going for like a light wood, a black, uh, maybe a little terracotta. This is our shelf we've been playing with. It sure is. This explains the colors we want except for the terracotta. It doesn't yeah, have that yet. more rust terracotta. Babe. <laughs> she, <shelf>. no. <laughs> she squeezes my ass. But if you don't understand, <laughs> we don't have blinds yet. We do not have blinds, so we can't be doing anything funky out here. Can't wait to show you the bedroom blinds, though. That's Something that's a game special. changer. Let's go, honey. Here we are, the hall. Now this leads to all things great, starting mm. with the can. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Personally, this room so far is my least favorite of the house, only because it was the only one I felt like was not updated with the home, which yep. is okay. Now you may say, wow, ladies, that's a nice mirror. Nicely hung mirror that's mm. been properly hung or perfectly. Or mirror. Probably not that though. So mirror, here it is. Mirror. Yeah. I am trying to compliment you, woman. Just so perfectly straight. And to that I have to say, the straightest mirror ever was hung by the gayest woman ever, which is Holly, around the corner. Thank you, love. She hung this just this past week. There's a lot of work to be done in here. Okay, the projects. You look so pretty. Thank you. Well, we're going from pretty to pretty ugly. Because we're about <laughs> to take you into this spooky, spooky shower. We just like don't vibe with this so much. And that's cool if you do, but we're going for a different type of style. So if we do not have the money to do a bathroom reno at this point in time in our life, maybe one day coming up soon we could, but definitely not right now. So in the meantime, we've decided we are going to paint them white. And you may say, don't do that, ladies. Horrible idea. We go, we know. Rest assured, we we did find a YouTube video and now we're professionals and know what we're doing, okay? <laughs> this one is gonna have the most work. Like Paige said, the whole shower. We're gonna get a new toilet. We're gonna redo the floor because it's this weird stick on tile. We'll keep you guys updated with how it goes and maybe by the time we do the furniture house tour, all this will be done and I love you can that. see it. Come on in, MTV. When the previous owners had it, this was like a kid's playroom type of thing. So I think we're gonna turn it into like a kind of a get ready room. This came with the house. It used to be in the master bedroom, but you'll see when we go in there, there is zero closet space. It's full of basically all our clothes, which is like free shirts. We have noticed that we have been roasted several times now. Comment after comment saying, love you girl, but I um, think you need to retire that shirt. That's fun. And you know what, right away I just want to like beef back and be like, you know, this is not true, but come to think of it, it's very last, true. It does true. have some ground. It yes. does, it does. We do have about eight pieces of clothing we just constantly recycle. I know, and we haven't actually bought anything in about two years. Yeah. But in fairness, it's hard to tell if a company matches our values before we buy from them. That is fair, but lucky enough for us, Arbor has just launched their brand new marketplace. Wow! Let's go check it out! Arbor is a platform that makes shopping sustainably as simple as possible. They just launched their marketplace, which is the only online marketplace where you can filter by your values. Simply select what is important to you personally, and the entire interface personalizes itself to you. They have done all the research for you, so it has literally never been easier to shop ethically. Thanks, Arbor! Well guys, that's Arbor's Marketplace. It is 100% free, user-friendly, and every single click the link gets, Arbor actually plants a tree. So we really encourage you to check it out. Thank you so much, Arbor. Thanks, Arbor. We love Arbor. We do love Arbor, and we really think you should check them out, so. They're doing click something it. that no one else is doing. It's and they're growing trees, come on! Grow the, the trees. trees! Thank you, Arbor. Nice. Let's get back <laughs> to the tour. I think we're gonna get like um, kind of a table and like a mirror with lights and maybe two stools for us to get ready. Yeah, and also I think eventually we'd like to get some, maybe some cool wallpaper or something. Yeah, we're gonna jazz this place up. Yeah, and it's gonna be a different vibe. Yes, with like vanity lights and all of that type of thing. We wanna make it really cool and different than the kind of boho theme we have going for the rest of the house. Yes. We want it to be somewhere you step into and it's really just like creative and whatever. Somewhere to take Instagram pictures because we never ever take them. Moving on. All right, baby, show us where the magic happens. Not here. <laughs> Here we are. Now, before you judge the blackout curtains. <laughs> I was just gonna say, they really stand out. You just have to bear with us. We're sleeping here now, so of course we had to do something, because the first night we slept with nothing, and I just kept looking at the window thinking I was gonna see a head pop up. I think we should do a really um, like a stylish overview right now of these curtains. I'm sorry. 
Where's the house tour without the house weapon? Ah. Uh. Just in case. We're not in a condo building anymore. <laughs> and you know what? People may think we're joking about this and then that was just left there. No, that was there on purpose because we do be ready. We're here, we're Never queer, know. and we're ready to smash you with the hammer. Yeah. I'll show you our closet. This wow. is something we need to change drastically at some point. Yeah, so in the bathroom, that little jet out, that's this. And then here is the shower. So when we do the bathroom reno, when we can kind of save up for it, we're gonna see what our options are. If we can like knock through and make it bigger or an ensuite or well, like we don't know yet. I don't yeah. Know. I just learned how to paint a wall, so one thing. Oh yeah, we'll get there, babe, we'll get there. All right, here we are. <laughs> This is where the other magic happens, mm -hmm. AKA work. This is our office. This will be our office, yes. Basically what we're gonna plan on having here is either two desks, they have the desk here and here and have our little workstations or we may decide to go here and here. You guys let us know in the comments. We'd love to know which one you think would be better because we want to also have a little like cute seating area with like a chair and an overhanging light. So if you do here, Someone should be able to sit here with like a magazine. But if we do it here, someone will be able to sit here with another magazine. Mm. So, cool. let us know your thoughts. Okay guys, so that's it for the main floor. Small but mighty. How about that? Definitely. Do we want to do downstairs? We can or do outside? outside. Okay, while well, we're here. First, I'm going to show you this. Closet. You guys won't understand until I show the photo of how spooky this closet once was. It was yellow, and there were items in there that I was unsure of. Here we are, fresh as a daisy. Yeah. Holly and I went in here and painted this puppy up. And now here we are outside to our oasis. <laughs> <laughs> Such flares. <laughs> this space here, sorry it's a little bit late right now. We are in the midst of figuring this out right now, but this is like one of our other favorite spaces. Twinkly lights. Here they are, our favorite part. Yeah, so it's super dark. So maybe we'll put some pictures of the backyard. The previous owners had two big dogs. So we've been working on repairing the grass a little bit and filling in some holes and the shed. You know, we may be able to pick up enough light to show you the little light. Okay. You let me know. Nope. It's a bunny, it's a bunny. Are you sure? Yeah, I see it. Sorry guys, we're just a bit scared because um, we saw a coyote cross in front of our house yesterday and, uh, and two days ago we found coyote poop in our grass. So when we heard a rustle in the grass, <laughs> I really chat my <laughs> Come with us downstairs. If you thought upstairs was echoey, you're gonna have a really fun time listening to this. This is our basement. This TV came with the house. Yay. <laughs> they had like a couch set up here with like a little rug so this was like a TV area. I think we're gonna keep the same type of vibe. Mm -hmm. but over here, they had kind of like a workout home gym station. We're gonna change that up. What we're thinking is kind of doing like a couch and two chairs, a coffee table, and maybe putting a fireplace here. So when we have people over and we're at the bar, Ooh. we can take the drinks over and have a nice place to sit and play games and just chill out here. So this is one of the spaces we're most excited about because the previous owners had the whole place done so nicely. So we're keeping a lot of those elements, but this we're really gonna make our own. So it's kind of exciting. Come on back here. This is huge. Should I show them the fun surprise? Oh, you know what? I think you should. When Paige was cleaning, when we first got the house, of course she took the to-do list off the list to clean. Um, alas. What the f happened? <laughs> we didn't find out about it until after it was ours, so that's fun. So, um, we just put that puppy on and go to do new. Yes. Anyway, come on through. Mm -hmm. uh, love the archways. They had to grow on page, but this is one of the things that I love the most. About. Yes, at, at first I was kind of like, oh, I don't know about it. But with all the lights on and now that we can really see like what each room is and the more I walk through them, I'm like, okay, you know what? This is actually really unique and there aren't a lot of homes that have that anymore. So yes. I think it's cool. We were thinking, okay, what do we do with this area? And what we thought, Paige hasn't been able to play guitar in the condo because she's worried about neighbors and people hearing her and stuff. But maybe this, I think, would be a really cute look for you to play guitar again. I think this could be like a really cute area. And then if she wasn't playing guitar, it could be like a nice little reading nook. Yeah. I'm excited. I love it. That. This. They had this as the guest bedroom. So mm -hmm. the YouTube studio will be either this room or the room we're about to show you. So I'll take you to the other room now and show you why I don't think it will work. Mm -hmm. This is our nice 
concrete floor. I love the industrial look. It's really nice. Yeah. So if you thought out there, out there was echoey, <laughs> look at us now! <laughs> the flooring Holly and I ripped out ourselves. This is actually the exact same size as the other side, but because it's got like this big runner box thing, and the electrical box over here feels smaller and it's gonna be weird for shots because we can't go super tall. Originally, we really thought this would be the studio and now I think we're gonna swap it because yeah, there's just so many things we want to do and I don't think this room's gonna allow for all the projects we're hoping for. So now, here we are to my personal favorite of the house, the <laughs> basement bathroom. Okay, now this, you thought upstairs bathroom was special? <laughs> let me point you in the right direction. Why don't we just let the camera speak for itself a moment? Okay, it's not the it's not the worst. The thing is, this hasn't been updated in a long time. Yeah. This right here, I'm not sure what's going on. It'll do for now. You're so you scared. are very harsh. Like this isn't the worst thing I've ever seen, but it's just not our style, is all. <laughs> if you like it, fabulous for yourself. If it was me, I would break this down right now. Um, I also just wanted to say if there's anyone out there that's in need of a golf club, specifically a driver, you can um, look all the way up here <laughs> and you may take any of these. We got three going, ready to go. So light up that swing, boys and girls, because here we are. Behind that door is laundry. I wasn't going to show them. Okay, all right, well, well we're here now. This is quick and spooky. Wash a dryer. Also known as my drum kit. Oh my god. Are we done? That just finished the tour. Okay, we can't end like that. No. Well, this brings us to the end of our house tour. We're so sorry we just ended on that creepy room. So hopefully the next time you see it, I know you've been seeing like little snippets when we film here and when we film like in the bedroom and stuff. Those are not our spaces. I know you guys have been bitching about the sound. I get it. Believe me, we're not happy with it either. You let us know if you guys want like updates on how the house is going. We've been doing a ton of projects and not really filming much. We post like mini vlogs on Patreon, but nothing on YouTube. So if you want more house content, just let us know. Otherwise, we'll just show finished product when it's ready. Baby. Yeah. We just can never ever thank you enough. And even if it's all went away in a couple months time, we're just so thankful and excited that this was any kind of chapter in our lives. So just thank you so much and every little like and comment and subscribe and the ding a ling a ling that we always and the thumb blast beg for at the start of each video, they go such a long way. So just thank you for everything you're doing. And um, we'll see you next week. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for everything and we'll see you guys soon. Love you. Bye. Love you.